Oh god, oh god, oh god. This morning is gonna be a sugar rush. Hey guys, it's Alvin. I'm gonna be making some crazy cheesecake tower today. It's kind of based off of this idea that's been circling around the internet called the Cherpumple. It's basically like a three-layered cake and each layer has a different cake on the outside and a different pie flavor on the inside. So the word Cherpumple comes from cherry, pumpkin, and apple, which are the pies that are inside all these three different cakes. I was just wondering, like, is there a cheesecake version of this that we can make? That's my mission today, so we'll see how it goes. Alvin has been explaining to me what this churpumple business is about, and I still don't get it. So you want me to draw out what I'm gonna make? Yes, please. Yeah, do you understand what I just said at all? I think that what you're saying is there's gonna be cheesecake and there are gonna be layers. I mean, you know, me and layers, man, we go way back. <laughs> think about what flavors I'm gonna pick. Vanilla and chocolate. So those are my two cheesecake flavors. And as far as the desserts that they're gonna be wrapped in, cheesecakes really go well with brownie, apple pie. Oh, red velvet's a good one. I'm probably gonna want two vanilla and one chocolate. Chocolate does not go well with berry, red velvet, maybe banana bread, not apple pie. Cinnamon roll is a little weird. Cookie maybe, but I think it has the most natural synergy with brownie. I'm gonna pair the chocolate cheesecake with a brownie on the outside. I think cookie dough and cheesecake is a really great combination. I'm looking at the other flavors. Honestly, red velvet is a really good solid option, but I'm gonna go with that. There's gonna be three layers. I want the top and the bottom to be vanilla. The middle one is going to be chocolate. The sturdiest item needs to go on the bottom. I feel like cookie is the sturdiest thing, making little chocolate black dots. That means red velvet has to be on the top, so the brownie has to go around here in the middle. Just call me Picasso, you know? This looks amazing. It Thank looks you. like a fancy mattress. A fancy mattress? It's literally all coming down to the layers. It needs to look like straight, it needs to look perfect, it needs to look clean. That's, those are my standards, and I really want to make this happen, but I want to make it right. Let's make it happen. We run into major problems. <laughs> we can find the bottom of what is it? The spring form pan. And if there's no bottom, there's no cheesecake. We Where's need to find the bottom? No bottom. Right, I'm just gonna bring out everything we've got. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Oh. It's gonna be a no for me, dog. This doesn't work. Uh, is this gonna be? Man, that's so little. Oh, wait, this looks pretty good. Oh, cool. Nice, we got it. sexy music begins to play. Here comes the cheesecake. Yum, yum, yum. This is just normal brownie batter. Good, one down. Look at Alvin's face of focus. Wow, amazing, amazing. Ooh, oh, that looks so cool. What? You're the best hype man ever, Brenda. Here goes the focus face. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this batter is like mega thick. Like all caps, three C's, spaces in between each one. You know what I mean? Now I have to do the cookie dough one, Brenda. Oh my goodness, I was waiting for this. Can I get some help getting this cookie dough into like a bowl? Oh my God, I get to help you build this crazy thing? All right, all right that's good, Brenda, don't worry. That's it? That's great. Oh, Thank I you. thought I was doing something a little more special. I wouldn't task you with that. Okay. All right, cookie dough's going in. It's like a... Ancient way of building, that's pretty cool. Are you watching the Right History Channel? I actually learned this technique from my ancestors. <laughs> All right, seriously. Back Switch to the boy. It. Tuck him into bed. All right, so the third one is now in the oven. After they kind of bake off, I'm gonna check on them. I'm gonna put them back into the fridge. They're gonna hold a lot of heat. They're gonna need a lot of time to cool down. Tomorrow, we're gonna try to look into how we can assemble it. I really want it to look like this. See you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it's day two. I'm gonna check on the cheesecakes that I put in the freezer to see how they've set. Hopefully, it still looks like this picture. Let's go check it out. All right, Brenda, I got, uh, I got some good news and I got some bad news. Okay, so the bad news is the red velvet one, like it somehow didn't rise enough or it rose and just deflated all the way. If I cut into it, it's gonna, it's gonna look like that. And that's gonna be a no for me, dog. Okay, yeah. this one's look pretty good. Yeah, so the brownie one looks pretty good. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get the cake batter as close to the consistency of brownie batter as possible. If you see the bottom here, like that's really cool. I want the top to look like that, so that's why I'm gonna do it again. 
I don't know if you can see this, but the batter is a lot different than last time. It's a lot thicker. Do I dare say thick? The batter's so thick, got me working out. <laughs> batter's in, I'm gonna give it one more shot, put him back in the oven, and hopefully it just really stays flat. I hope it stays level. I really need this to sort of like be flat, or else it's gonna be another retry. Woo, okay. Ooh. Ooh, look at this. Yeah, it's like, it's pretty good. I think this is good to go. Oh God, oh God, oh God. I think if we're doing cheesecakes, kind of makes sense to like do some cream cheese frosting, so. I'm a little bad boy. Let it not wobble on me, Bertha, come on. This is so cool, it does all the work for me. I don't, don't freaking stir it forever. Do you guys know how much sugar frosting has in it? Cause it's a lot. Yo, I need to record this for my mixtape. Yeah, we in the studio here at Tasty, trying to pull out something crazy. I don't know how long this is gonna take, but I'm put the icing on that cake. Oh! Okay guys, we're gonna go and assemble the cake now. Probably the scariest part with three layers that are super heavy and hopefully this frosting is thick enough to glue the layers together as well as make it smooth on the outside. It's gonna be kind of tough, but here we go. Yay! <laughs> it's a cake ring. Come on. <laughs> Lots of focus here. Pressure's on, I guess, god damn. I hope it's enough. I really don't want to make more. Maybe if I stop eating. Oh my god, no wonder. You know, chocolate ganache drip on top. Throw some nice chopped chocolate chunks around the bottom rim of the cake. You and your layers. Love my layers, Brenda. I'm gonna call this big boy, I'm gonna call it Bub. B-U-B-B. -B. Oh, it's a heavy boy, Bub. Why are you gonna be so big? Please lift with your core. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Watch your squats. Bang your knees. <laughs> it's here. Houston, the eagle has landed. That looks real. It is real. <laughs> ew, ew. That was close. Whew. Here we go. Oh my god! Yes! Only halfway there. Let's keep going. Oh. Come on. Oh. Yo, it was a hard eight. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Cut this boy open. Okay. Okay. Alright, I feel like I'm through. There it is! Woo! Yeah. I'll say, turned out a lot better than I thought it was. I'm pretty proud of this. I think it's, it's kind of this crazy idea that I had that I was kind of able to make into reality. I'm pretty happy with it. I hope I can feed a lot of people with this. The layers came out, but I really want to know if it's actually going to taste good. So I hope these people like it. Because if it looks good, but doesn't taste good, then we didn't win brand up. I love coffee dough. That was nice. This is very chocolatey. I like it. I like having all the different flavors together. Mm. Wow. Good? Good is not even the word. I like the fact it's real cheesecake, right? Like yes. it's a baked cheesecake. He's done it again, folks. Thanks, so. Aww. Triple decker cheesecake. It really feels good when I'm able to like make a food sort of idea or a food dream like into reality. I love the way people can smile when you, when you feed them. Uh, it also took a lot of restraint for me not to play a mixtape during the entire process because I knew I had to keep the cake cold and if I played it, it would have just melted, so. <laughs> hey, Brenda, you wanted final thoughts. I'm giving you honest thoughts straight from the heart. 